How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Holy shit. Did you see that? I'm staying at a, uh, hopefully I caught that. <laughs> I'm staying at a, uh, hotel room in Staten Island. And, uh, that was a mouse. See this bag here? It's my garbage bag. And this right here is my bed. And so, that mouse was like pretty bright, you know, it's the middle of the, the sun's still out. So the mouses here are so used to like living in the rooms and eating people's shit that <coughs> as, as I, I was sta it's the mouse stared at me before it jumped in that bag <coughs> but uh, actually the mouse is uh, complimentary like I think each you know if you get a double you know if you get a double bed I think you get two mices per room this, uh, where do I begin with this hotel room? Where do I begin, even? There's, um, the blinds, which you have the option of, um, having a, them be broken. Um, Let's say we go to. The, let's say we check out the bathroom here. And this one, um, you have the option of whether you want to cover or you don't want to cover on the uh, whatever. I guess that's the heater or something. I chose no cover because I thought. It would just be easier that way. Um, that's mold. Complimentary mold. Um, I guess there was supposed to be uh, something here. But it's not there no more. There's your uh, light. Like, they couldn't have even have taken the time to go like that. Like, that's how it was. That's how it was. And I want to leave it that way because I don't want to get charged. You know, <laughs> in case they, they might think I'm broken or something. Okay. Now, here's a tip for you. Okay. That's lovely. I guess they get a lot of uh, oil men that fucking wash themselves right after the, you know, when the oil, uh, the tower, it shoots up, you know, they get covered and then they wash themselves. And that bar of soap right there, that's not my bar of soap. That bar of soap was already just there. The same with that plastic thing, I don't know what the hell that is. Well, here's a tip for you, though. See the towel? I put that towel there so the feet of my, or the skin of my feet didn't have to touch the ground there. Ah, that's pretty clever. Another tip, another pro tip to staying in a flea bag uh, motel would be okay, you take the cup. You sleep on the top of the cover, and then you fold the other half over like a, um, like a damn, uh, sleeping bag. Because you see, people would be more apt 
to have sex underneath the covers. And then, like, so the, underneath the cover and the sheets is where all the... Your jisms and your fucking crabs and stuff lurk. On top of the cover, usually, that's where someone sits while they're clothed. So there's, there's a tip for you. Now... Here's another tip for my construction days. <coughs> well, first off, let me let me point this out to you. The many <coughs> the many signs that there was perhaps a biker brawl in here or something. Someone wrote Joker on the door. And they felt that that added to the room's uh, ambiance, so they decided to leave that. Um, oh yeah, but here's, here's a good tip. Like, if you're gonna, if you figure the room is gonna get a lot of slime on the walls, you might want to go with like a, a yellow paint color for the walls, or like a brown or something. You know, instead of going with white, that way the slime kind of blends in and you don't see it so much. And someone wrote Joker on the wall there too. Maybe, I don't know whether two separate Jokers stayed here or the same Joker wanted to mark, you know, he wanted to claim, lay claim to the, the living quarters and the bathroom. You cannot be for sure. There's more slime on the walls. Um, there's a piece of glass and a cigarette butt. And another thing, um, when you lay rug rug down in a house or somewhere, like you try and get it so like it's covering the floor completely, is a good tip if you're like. Um, laying rub. <laughs> and then here's another one. I, as a construction, as a former construction man, you know, I have to say, I've seen better work. See this? This right here. Like, you're, you're not supposed to have that. You're not supposed to have a pie-shaped gap. It's just supposed to be what they call flush. Okay. And then that one's that one's um kind of bad, but I don't know. This one's a little bit worse. This one's just a little bit worse here. <laughs> ah. And the thing I don't know if you see these doors, but. I don't know what happened there exactly. A little cutting mishap. These doors here. Okay. When you get a wood door, you get wood doors like this real cheap. And then you're supposed to either paint them or uh, or put stain on them or some kind of... Because um, this is bare wood here. And what happens if you don't cover bare wood with a paint or a, a lacquer or so or like a, a clear coat or a varnish okay wood bare wood warps um like if it gets moisture on it the temperature changes mostly moisture it warps it and it changes the shape or it makes it super heavy or it makes it deteriorate so when you buy wood like this, you're not supposed to just put them up. You're supposed to fucking paint them. Or whatever. But I mean, you know, you're also supposed to, like, wipe hair off of the wall. When, uh, when each person leaves, when each person leaves the hotel room, usually, like, their hair is wiped off the wall so that the next person coming in to the hotel room doesn't have hair on the wall. 
And uh, what other what other fun things? Yeah, this closet here. I was gonna kind of do a thing like a uh, Al Capone's vault and open it up, you know, because who who's to say what's in there, like prizes or something? But they got it. They got it fucking uh, screwed shut. But. You can see. I don't know if you can see. There's like an air conditioner in there or something. So they got it screwed shut so no one like gets another air conditioner out of there. <coughs> and then this is like the office chair. And you see this. Like a lot of times if you go to like a hotel like a Motel 6 or whatever, like they'll wipe like the the dust off of everything. <laughs> what else we got? This lovely picture that takes you away to like um you know, I don't know, Chesapeake Bay or the Florida Keys. And it's like got like a stain on it. But like people grabbing at it and shit and fucking leaning on it with their armpits. They could have had like a piece of plastic to help preserve, you know, the natural beauty. But, oh, you know. <laughs> and, uh, okay. What else we got? They put plastic underneath the sheets in case it be the bed. The headboard's dirtier than shit. Okay. Then they got this, this piece of, uh, drawers right here and they got it screwed shut as well you know because they don't want you getting to the Bible and um, let me see the last the whoa. oh yeah okay the fucking all right, if you want to get a room here, it's $60 for the night. If you want a bathroom. And if you don't want a bathroom, then it's $45 for the night. So I just, you know, I thought, you know, what the hell? It, what the hell, you know? It might be nice to go to the bathroom during the night. So I, I went ahead and I went, I went and opted for the bathroom. Okay, and lastly, but certainly not least, one of the other reasons that mouse was in the house is because uh, there's, a, there's a piece of chicken on the floor. That's not my chicken. It doesn't look like, I mean, it doesn't look like it's even like from yesterday's chicken. It looks like it's been here for a moment. And I know, you know, I know how a hotel, like, you get caught up with all the fucking taking people's money and then giving them keys to the room. You know, you get all caught up in that. You're taking the money, you're handing them the key to the room. But like, you just gotta, you gotta take the time to get like the big chicken bones off the floor before the next person rents the room out just seems like that's the way it should go.